Choosing a web hosting provider can feel like a pretty tough task, especially when two big names like Hostinger and GoDaddy dominate the industry. Both companies have been around for years, offering hosting solutions for individuals, small businesses, and larger enterprises. But when it comes to performance, pricing, ease of use, and customer support, which one comes out on top? Well, the answer depends on what matters most to you. Are you looking for the most budget-friendly option? Do you need top-tier performance? Is customer support a deciding factor? In this video, we'll explore the pros and cons of Hostinger and GoDaddy, helping you understand which one might be best for you. Now, before we dive into the rest of the video, if you guys want to try out either GoDaddy or Hostinger, then make sure to check out the description below because you'll find links to get the best available discounts for both, as well as a 10% off discount code for Hostinger if you use the code SITESTARTERS at checkout. So take a look at that if you're interested. Now, a website's speed and reliability can make or break its success. Slow loading time can frustrate visitors and frequent downtime can cost businesses potential customers. That's why performance and uptime are two of the most critical factors to consider when choosing a hosting provider. Hostinger uses Lightspeed servers which optimize website performance and efficiency. With a built-in caching system, websites hosted on Hostinger tend to load faster compared to many other hosting providers in the same price range. Hostinger also boasts a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee, making sure that websites remain accessible with minimal interruptions. For businesses that rely on their website being available at all time, this level of reliability is a huge advantage. GoDaddy, being one of the oldest hosting providers, has a massive infrastructure, but its performance is not always as consistent as expected. While GoDaddy does provide solid uptime, its speeds often fall behind Hostinger's, particularly for WordPress websites. Hostinger's advanced caching technology and server optimization make it a better choice for those who prioritize a fast and smooth experience. For beginners, navigating a hosting dashboard can feel overwhelming, and a user-friendly interface can make a huge difference, especially for those of you who aren't tech-savvy. Hostinger has a custom-built control panel called HPanel, designed to be intuitive and easy to navigate. With a modern layout and a clean design, managing domains, setting up a website, and checking emails feels very straightforward, even for first-time users. Everything is organized in a way that makes sense, removing the learning curve that some hosting providers have. GoDaddy, on the other hand, sticks with the cPanel, which is the industry standard for hosting management. While the cPanel is powerful and widely used, it can feel a bit outdated dated compared to Hostinger's sleeker H panel. For people who are already familiar with cPanel, GoDaddy will feel comfortable and familiar. However, for those looking for a more modern and beginner-friendly experience, Hostinger's H panel is the better choice. Furthermore, one of the biggest deciding factors when choosing a hosting provider is cost. While both Hostinger and GoDaddy offer a variety of plans, the real question is which one provides better value for your money? Hostinger is well known for its affordability, making it a popular choice for beginners, bloggers, and small businesses. With plans starting as low as a few dollars per month, it's one of the cheapest hosting providers on the market. Now, even at its lowest price, Hostinger includes useful extras like a free domain, a free SSL certificate, and built-in website caching to improve website speed. Some plans also come with daily or weekly backups, providing extra security for your website without requiring an additional purchase. GoDaddy, on the other hand, offers competitive promotional rates, making it an appealing choice for those looking for an easy entry into web hosting. However, it's worth noting that renewal prices tend to be higher, which is something to keep in mind for long-term budgeting. While GoDaddy provides a wide range of services, some features that come included with Hostinger, such as SSL certificates and site backups may require an additional purchase. This means that while the upfront cost may seem similar, it's important to consider the overall value based on the features you'll need. But technical issues are inevitable when managing a website, so having responsive customer support can make all the difference. Hostinger offers 24-7 live chat support, which is convenient for people who need quick help. Their support team is generally fast to respond and provides helpful, knowledgeable solutions. However, one downside is that Hostinger doesn't offer phone support which may be frustrating for any of you who prefer speaking with a representative over the phone. GoDaddy, on the other hand, does offer phone support. 
And while their live chat support is also available, it's not always as fast or as efficient as Hostinger's. Some people report long wait times and a less helpful resolution process when reaching out for help. Beyond basic hosting though, the additional features included with a plan can significantly impact the overall experience. So like I said, Hostinger offers a package that includes a free domain, a free SSL certificate, daily backups, and built-in caching system. From a security standpoint, Hostinger provides DDoS protection and automatic updates to keep websites safe. GoDaddy, while a leader in domain services, doesn't include many of these features for free. Their basic hosting plans do not come with free SSL certificates, which is surprising considering how essential SSL is for website security. And while GoDaddy does provide some useful add-ons like business email, and marketing tools, they tend to come at an additional cost. Furthermore, both Hostinger and GoDaddy support WordPress hosting, but the experience is slightly different depending on the provider. Hostinger is optimized for WordPress performance, offering one-click installs, lightspeed caching, and advanced optimization tools. This makes it a great choice for people who want a fast and hassle-free WordPress experience. GoDaddy has its own website builder, GoCentral, which is designed for beginners but isn't as flexible as WordPress. So for anyone planning to use WordPress, Hostinger provides a smoother and faster experience. If a drag and drop website builder is what you prefer, both providers offer decent ones, but GoDaddy's builder is more well known. So both Hostinger and GoDaddy have their strengths, but the best choice depends on your specific needs. Hostinger is the better option for those looking for affordable pricing, fast performance, and valuable features without extra costs. It offers a sleek, beginner-friendly interface, strong customer support, and essential perks like free SSL and domain registration. GoDaddy is a solid choice for those who prefer phone support, need extensive domain services, and are comfortable with cPanel. However, higher renewal rates and additional costs for features like SSL certificates make it a more expensive option. For most people, especially beginners, bloggers, and small business, business owners, Hostinger offers better value. It's fast, budget-friendly, and packed with features without the extra upsells. If performance pricing and ease of use matter most, Hostinger is the smarter choice. And that just about wraps up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. And don't forget about those links in the description, including the 10% discount code if you use site starters at checkout with Hostinger. At any rate, though, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, make sure to take care.